It's unfortunate, but sometimes common that athletes fall out of love with a sport. That the case for senior pitcher Haley Bartosh, who before this season has not picked up a ball since a COVID shortened freshman campaign two and a half years ago. I was nervous because I mean, I hadn't picked up a ball when I quit softball. I was fully done, packed up all my stuff, threw my bag up in my attic. I, I was, that was my past. And so when I broke back out, I was really nervous. I was like, I don't know how this is going to go. Hitting, like throwing, I was, I was a little shaky. You know, when she said she wanted to do it and she was committed to doing it, yeah. One of the first things we did as coaches is say, okay, let's go live and see how she responds. And, you know, she struggled a little bit, but she came off with a smile on her face. And I said, okay, th th that's a good sign. And uh, when she came back and she was smiling, I said, are you back? And she smiled and, and looked at me and I said, well, then welcome back. Sometimes you fall out of love for a sport and then a little encouragement to get you back in. And then you realize how much you missed it and how great it is to be with the team and have some fun and we're very happy to have her back. She really helped us this season. At first just hoping to be used as a utility player defensively but once again encouraged to get back on the mound. And it was in a rivalry win against the Trojans that Bartosh felt officially back where she belongs. I think that was definitely the biggest hurdle just getting comfortable again throwing uh, in a live situation like in practice it's a lot different when there's actually a batter up against you an umpire actually calling you pitches so I think I just had to get comfortable with it again. I think it was probably the Parkland game when the coaches put me in after in like the fifth or sixth inning and we pulled out a win from that. I think I was finally like, I'm, I'm back, I'm here. And through accumulating its District 11 best 14 victories, no one has been able to figure out the one-two punch between Cassie Aquino and Bartosh. I think Cassie has a little more uh, movement on the ball, but uh, Haley does a little more speed. So I think like just for the hitters, like you don't really know what you're going to get because they're, I think they're pretty two different style pitchers. So I think that's just going to help us on the defensive end to get them out. I feel like she was very open to us sharing time on the mound. And I think that we have a good dynamic going. We're both happy. We're both very supportive of each other. So I think it's really good. It's never easy getting back on the horse, but thanks to some encouragement and especially the support of her teammates, Bartosh was not only able to jump right back into things, but do so like she never left, adding one more piece to the puzzle that has made this Whitehall squad as dangerous as they are. I just think that I felt very supported. I had a whole team behind me and like we are all just, I feel like we're a very close knit group. We all root for each other, like small victories are big victories in our eyes, like everything is important. We all support each other like a lot. We had talked to this team for a while about what they can become. And, you know, we knew it would be a deep team. And, and any time, like I said, you can have, a, you know, if you're going to lift that thousand pound weight to have multiple people do it and, and it allows, you know, a little bit, it doesn't put too much pressure on one person. And, and that was the big thing here is that we were able to kind of share the wealth, share the success. And you, you look, we, we use the slogan, every day is a different hero at, the, at this field. And that's that's proven to be true. I love it. I am so happy that I came back and decided to do this for my senior year. And I may have lost two years in between, but I feel like I needed those years to myself. So I'm really happy that I decided to come out and be with these gr group of girls. It's been amazing. Reporting for the Service Electric Network, I'm Cassie Schmidt.